Hi everybody, I'm back. And it's a hot morning already. I've already been out. It's early. I had to get labs done that I have been putting off. Yeah, they gave me my little bracelet to get the labs done. Everything is just so different. I've been avoiding going mm -hmm. to hospitals, um, doctor's visits. I've just been doing the doctor visits online. You know, if they have them available where I can do it through Zoom or uh, what they call telehealth, then I'm all for it because I just hadn't been, you know, wanting to go into the clinic setting or hospitals, but I had to go get my blood drawn. So I said, let me, let me go and knock that out early in the morning. So got that going. I'm excited to see what my new A1C is. Those of you who are familiar with diabetes, you already know. They check the level and see how you've been doing over um, over a period of three months. They can tell how your sugars have been doing. So I know at home my sugars have been great, so I know my level has dropped tremendously. I'm already looking forward to that. So I wanted to just talk about some snacks or, you know, like your go-to foods when, you know, you're craving something and you don't want to eat the Doritos or you know, chocolates. So let me tell y'all, we went to Sam's Club and you know how it is at Sam's, especially if you go when you're hungry. We went and I'm looking for snacks for myself or just, you know, little stuff that, you know, is healthy. So I was looking at, I don't know if you all know those uh, Laughing Cow uh, cheese is like the, you know, cheese and it's creamy. And they had like the little uh, pretzel sticks you can dip in there. So it was in between those, that pack, and these cauliflower bites were right next to it. Look at these. Cauliflower bites. So I said, you know, that's something new. You know, I could throw these in the air fryer. Hmm, might be good. So they're described as having white cheddar and sunflower seed blend. So they're coated, yeah, they're coated with, uh, yeah, sunflower seeds and white cheddar. They sounded pretty good. And then, I, you know, I'm still counting the calories, so they say I can have six, six of these little cauliflower bites, and that's 210 calories. I said, okay, that could be a good healthy snack, better than eating a bag of chips. Okay. I'm going to show you all what one of these looks like because, um, yeah, I like the packaging and stuff. I mean, that's about the best part of it, probably. This is what they look like. They look like tater tots. Okay, so I was excited to try them. And then the excitement quickly went away to discuss. <laughs> um, these are not flavorful. I, I don't know what I was thinking. You know, um, they're just not good. I, I can't. I can't say anything nice about them. I expected them to maybe have a little more of a seasoning on them. You know, but you all know what cauliflower tastes like. So it's like, I mean, it, it, it it's almost like, I mean, the coating didn't even make a difference. You know, it wasn't what I expected at all. Quite disappointing. I don't know. I was thinking about throwing them away because nobody else in the house is going to eat these. I didn't even want to eat them. I think I had about six of them. I was like, oh my gosh. Like these, it was just, it was painful. Like, I don't know. I might be able to find a way to tweak them and maybe roll them in something else. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to think about this. But this was not a good choice. In case you're wondering, you see them at Sam's Club. Um, I'll, try, I'll try healthy stuff, you know, see if I like it. Because that's the only way you know, you know, is if you try it at least once. But it's a no for me. If any of you have any experience with these, you know, drop me a comment. 
Um, I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm, I might just try to tweak them a little bit, maybe. I might try something else before I just pitch them because it's definitely a no for me. So I'm going to have to think about these big boys because they, they are not good. And this is a big container, too. It's a lot of them. Cauliflower bites. Yeah, they could have seasoned these with something else. Like, yeah, I'm going to have to think about that. Gonna make, yeah. But, yeah, I'll come back to that. But other than that, everything has been going well. I'm still, um, I'm still working on the weight loss, taking it one day at a time. Everything is going good. Um, yeah, to, it, it's been a busy week. It's been a busy week. You know, we have two boys who are still school age who are at home, and they're 15 and 17. So they started out this week remote learning which was fine. We had all discussed it. They were fine with learning at home. And then after one day of that, they saw how much work it was. They were like, you know what? We want to go ahead and go to school, which is the schools here have a hybrid, um, a hybrid schedule where the kids have alternating days, A and B days. So my kids are on the A schedule, so they only go to school on Mondays and Thursdays. And then the rest of the week is remote anyway. So they just wanted to go into the school setting. I'm like, you know what? Okay. You know, but before they could do that, I had to make sure they had the proper nutrition and vitamins and things of that nature to keep them protected. Because we're down here by this college. And, I mean, looking at the statistics and uh, what's going on since the kids have gone back to college, there are 18 new cases of coronavirus at the college alone. So I'm like, you know, it it's just you know, it's just something to to think about. You know, I hate that the kids have been cooped up like this for all these months, but at the same time, I have to do you know what I have to do to make sure they're protected. So I told them. You want to go back into the school setting for those two days a week, you're going to have to follow these uh, uh, pr pr procedures that I have. So, <coughs> ooh, excuse me. Um, I got them some vitamins from the shopping club. I also grabbed a bunch of hand sanitizer. I made a gift basket actually for the school office. They got hand sanitizer. They got the Activate C um, vitamin C drink, and it has zinc in it as well. Yeah, these, these little packets, I really like them. They're really convenient. Just throw them in your water. And, you know, we've been in stock with these all during the pandemic when, you know, you couldn't find them at Walmart. You couldn't find them at all the other stores. We had this vitamin C. We had our hand sanitizer fully stocked. And... Um, it's not that hand sanitizer that you all have been seeing where there's recalls. No, this is plant-based. Yeah, plant-based hand sanitizer. And it smells good too, by the way. So I also put some lotion in the gift baskets for the office ladies. I gave them some lotion. This one is a uh, lavender. Yeah, lavender. Um, yeah, it smells really good. It's good. It's actually been tested. It's better than eucerin. And then for the boys, I got them this omega-3 drink. They drink a teaspoon of this a day. And um, yeah, it's, it's a supplement. It promotes brain, eye, and heart health. So I've been hearing a lot of people say it helps their kids focus. So I said, you know, I'm going to grab some. So they got their vitamins. They got their hand sanitizer. They got their vitamin C drink they have to drink. And they have this um, this omega-3 drink that they have to drink as well because they wanted to go back into the school setting. So, you know, we just, we just have to stay safe and we have to do all that we can do, you know, on our end to help, you know, to facilitate that. So um, that's what they wanted to do. So that this is what they have to do before they leave the house. You got to take your vitamins. You got to drink your drink. You know, you, you, got, you just got to be safe. So um, other than that, yeah, I'm just going to continue to find um, 
you know, different things to try out to, you know, go along with my diet because it can get, you know, a little boring if you're eating the same things day after day. So I'm trying to, you know, find new stuff. Hopefully the next thing I grab off the shelf, I will have a better experience than I did with these darn cauliflower bites. Take a look at them again. It's a no for me. So I hope everybody is doing well, especially with the disasters that are going on right now. And my prayers are with all of those that are affected. And I hope you all have a great weekend.